watching The High Road with me, Keith Warren. Brought to you by Timber Creek Outdoors. I'm Chris Faber. I own an outfitting business in north central Montana called Bear Paw Hunts, and I specialize in trophy mule deer hunting. Our goal here at Bear Paw Hunts is to, to grow the biggest trophy mule deer we possibly can in this area, and, and we're on track to doing that. Yeah, I've never been up here this early in the season before. I've been up uh, late in the season, and, and they're telling me that the mule deer are just starting, the bucks are just starting to kind of get interested in the girls, so that's really good. Uh, but I've never been up here this early. I've been bow hunting up here, but it's been hot. Right now, it's pretty doggone chilly, but I really don't know what to expect. All right, let me tell you about the rifle that I have chosen to shoot on today's hunt. I'm shooting Savage's Model 111 338 Lapua Magnum. This is a big gun. It has a big muzzle brake on it. That muzzle brake really does eliminate a lot of the recoil. It's loud as I'll get out, but it eliminates a lot of the recoil. I've got it topped off with a Majestic DX 6x24 variable power scope. Of course, the rifle has Savage's AccuTrigger, and it has a detachable magazine, as you can see. It has a nice adjustable cheek plate, super recoil pad. All right, let's go ahead and see how this bad boy shoots. All right, let me show you this detachable magazine. I'll go ahead and load it in right there. Now, I'm gonna show you the ammunition this dude shoots. That's a 250 grain Nosler partition round and that is unbelievable and you would think it packs a punch well it does but it really doesn't kick that much with this big heavy rifle so one thing I want to caution you if you're going to shoot uh, well if you're going to shoot any gun to be perfectly honest with you you need to wear hearing protection uh, for way too many years I didn't and I'm suffering uh, hear loss huh anyway especially with a gun like this, got a big old muzzle brake on it like that. Make sure and wear your ears. All right, let's go ahead and jack one in it and see what she does. Well, I know that my rifle is on. I feel real good about it. Um, it's Halloween and Right now my guide is actually taking another hunter out and if they score on a mule deer tonight, tomorrow morning, I'm on deck. This is such a neat old spooky house. I mean, this is, a, actually this house is about 100 years old and it's kind of fitting that it's spooky seeing how it's Halloween. On today's program, I'm up in north central Montana in the Bear Paw Mountains. I'm gonna be doing a mule deer hunt with my friend Chris Faber. He owns Bear Paw Hunts. You know, I've been coming up here year after year and I absolutely love this place. I love everything about it. The country, the people, the animals. I love this place. And I think after today's show, you'll see why. Hey, I'm Billy Lyle. Nashville, Tennessee. My guide Bobby and I are going to get us a big muley. Right now, uh, Keith's guide Bobby is uh, taking another hunter out, uh, Billy Lyle, and uh, they're just finishing up their hunt. You know, I've been coming out here for five years. I've taken lots of different animals, antelope, mule deer, whitetail, and I'm looking forward to another great mule deer hunt. Okay, my guide's out chasing deer with, uh, with his client. I'm gonna show you. 
here's an opportunity to take a look at what they've already taken here so far. Look at this buck right here. It's a perfect 4x4 with brow tines. Brow tines are pretty common up here. Now look at this guy right here. Deep forks. What a beautiful mule deer. And then you take a look at this one right here. <laughs> that deer right there is some kind of awesome. And then look at this. You talk about character. Look at the end of his main beam right here. I mean, that's got mass. You can tell that's just an old deer. And then you come over here, you take a look at this guy right here. This is a beautiful buck. I mean, he's got, he's beautiful. He's all gnarly at the base, but he's got good long tines. Looks like he actually may have some white tail blood in him. And he very well could because up here they've got some really good white tails as well. So these bucks, this is just an example of what they've taken. <laughs> what they've just taken so I kind of have a feeling that we're hitting this hunt just right. My name is Bobby LaSalle. I'm a guide for Chris Faber at Bear Paw Hunts. If you've never hunted mule deer before you may think that they're not as smart as a whitetail but don't underestimate them. They got ears, they can hear, they got eyes, they can see a long ways and don't underestimate their nose. They can smell you just as good or better than whitetail. Here at Bear Paw Hunts, Chris really emphasizes on us taking mature bucks. We look for the older deer and take the older deer, trying to manage these bucks in that way. Sweet. We nailed him, didn't we? Uh, the hunter, Billy Lyle, has been coming out here a long time, and he also understands what we're trying to accomplish here. And the deer he shot is not a trophy deer, but it is a great deer to harvest because it's a very, very old deer. So Bobby and I went out this afternoon trying to find a great mule deer. Saw this wonderful management buck, uh, decided to take him. Um, laid down on the road, it was about a 400 yard shot, um, nailed him. He went down, flipped over a few times, um, and I'm so happy with him. It's a great management deer. A management deer in, in, in our world here is a deer that uh, we know is, is never going to, you know, become a 4x4, 5x5, uh, um, or a non typical. You know, a management deer is generally a deer that's three and a half, four and a half years old, could be a two by three, a three by four, but those deer are never going to get any bigger than that. We want to take these management deer and harvest them early in the season uh, so they're not uh, breeding during the rut. I don't know much about this gun, but I do know it came from Savage Arms, and it's big, and it can shoot a long ways. For those of you that watch a lot of outdoor TV, you may think this rifle looks pretty familiar. Well, it's uh, basically the same rifle that is on the uh, Savage television commercial running that uh, has Ron Coven, the CEO, where he shoots a target at a little over 1,000 yards. And uh, I know Ron personally, and if Ron can do it, I think I can do it. That's what I'm talking about right there. The weather conditions are really nice. We've got the wind coming down this canyon. And what we're going to do, we're going to start out. We're going to walk up to a high spot, get up there and wait for the sun to come up. See if we can slide up and see a big old buck. It's day three, and we're gonna crawl back up on top of that mountain and see if we can make it happen today. The weather is beautiful. Keith had this gun, and I had no idea how far he was capable of shooting. All right, let me tell you what we got here. We got a great big buck working his way up this way. We're gonna make a run on Go this way or this way, we're gonna run ourselves down this ridge. Gonna get lightning up so we don't break out too bad. But he's a big. 
big deer. He's got a bunch of does with him, so it's gonna be tough. Put our packs on, we're gonna make a move on this guy. Every hunt that Keith has come on has been very special. But this time, this hunt is really special because Keith came alone and he brought a big gun with him. To the left, to the left. They're going to the left, they're going to the left. This way. I know that Keith has practiced a long time with this new gun. And I know Keith's capabilities, and I know the gun's capabilities. Right there, right there, right there. Oh, you must see the buck, you must see the buck. I can't, I can't see him. 500 yards. Make sure that's him. He's in the shade down there. Okay, I just heard the shot. Boop. Looks like we got him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here, roll him. How's that? Got a, this right here is my new favorite rifle from Savage. The Savage is 338 Lapua Magnum. This right here is one bad dude. That was a 500 yard shot. 250 grain nozzle partition bullet, and we got a big dead mule deer buck on the ground, baby. I'm sitting up here on the ridge, and this bunch of deer come down, and they we seen a big buck. He fed into here, and then all of a sudden, I seen him and set up to shoot, and, uh, and then I heard the shot. So then I knew I knew we had him. So it was a great, great, great stock. Five hundred and ten yards. Wow! What a shot! Okay, if you take a look, he's down there. Let's see the clearing. The road goes right there. He's on the left-hand side. You can see his yellow butt. And if it wasn't for you directing me this way, this way, this way, I thought he, I, I thought he was going over this way. Oh, that's a pretty good deer. It's going to take us a pretty good while to get down there too. So let's get started. All right. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of how far. It was, I was right there, 510 yards away, and dropped him in his tracks, right there on that knob. You know, sometimes when you're watching a TV show, it can seem like things just happen so easy, and, and they, they really don't. Uh, this hunt right here, I mean, this is the third day of the hunt. Uh, it's beautiful deer, no question about it. Um, but there was, there was a lot of, a lot of deep breaths taken, a lot of aches and pains. Uh, it snowed, and and uh, there's there's no doubt about it. It's a lot more difficult than than a lot of times what we can even show on television. Uh, there's just not enough time, really. And uh, the the deal I want to point out is that you know when the time comes, if if you're fortunate enough to be able to to see the deer of a lifetime, you better be prepared. You better be prepared physically and mentally and your equipment better be the best it can be too. And otherwise, you, you wait all your life for that opportunity of a lifetime and you blew it because you know you weren't ready or you couldn't make the shot. And you know, a deer like this, this is this is truly a, a, a very special deer to me. But but it's a special hunt because we paid our dues. It was a hard hunt, but it, it was done because it's done the way I wanted to do it. it. I mean, with a long range rifle and you spend enough time in the field and at the range, odds are you're gonna be able to pull it off. And I'm just thankful that this one, everything came together on this hunt just perfect.